Not the biggest forklift in the world. The, uh, it's not small. Is this unit will not charge. So on today's episode, fixed dish, supposed alternator, no worky. So here we go. Got to verify. Let's check at the battery. Put it on. Bolt. Check out the battery first. 12 volt. If you don't like it auto ranging like that, you can change your range. It says range literally. It drops some of the decimals down. That way it doesn't hunt. Just gives you 12 volt. But if you check out the battery, that doesn't always tell you the whole story. This uh, truck uses a one wire alternator. Uh, that's your uh, battery charging wire. This is your ground wire. And the control circuit below, the control circuit below that you can see is not hooked up at all. So let's see if we're charging at the alternator in case we got like a broke wire or something. Around the case. On the alternator wire. There we go. 12, 5, 12, 4. That is not charging. So, we need to get ourselves uh, shut down here so we can. Make sure we're safe to work in here so we don't get wrapped up and stuff. You can see we got voltage to the starter. Hit our master disconnect. Check again. And nothing. So, we are safe to work. First we'll start with getting the belt off. And I always rig up a wire, so that way I can keep tension. Sorry about the wind noise. We uh, live in the land of perpetual wind, apparently. Get that belt off, but we keep tension on it so it doesn't fall off all the other pulleys. That saves us a little bit of trouble down the road here from having to do something to get it routed back up. Can be a pain in the butt. It just needs to kind of stay there is all. Doesn't even have to like necessarily be rigged up well. Just to get yourself so everything stays around the crank nicely. And we'll just leave, we'll just leave this guy here. Cause we're gonna be using it here shortly. So now, let's go about getting this charger doohickey off here. Let's crack all these loose and get this stuff taken off here real quick. This broke loose. Okay. Get this broke loose. Like that. The rest of these should be able to wing off here real quick. Using my uh, 3 8 Milwaukee ratchet. Get that flipped around. So 
set the hardware off to the side, put that guy out of the way. We have our ground wire up behind here. See what I'm doing. That's a long winded sucker. That's good. Well, I did drop it anyways. I did, 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 did drop it. Pick that back up. there that's obviously loose okay so we got to hold that opposite side of course the side that didn't grab okay So, and like magic, ta-da, it's floating. Okay, so we got our alternator out. Then we gotta make sure we swap out our pulleys. Oh, she's been so good. Can't tell. It's dusty around here. Alright, so use my impact, right? You got my little squawky. Oh no, I can't get it off. Hercules grip. Bam. They teach us that in mechanic school. Take the pulley off. Now this is a keyed pulley, a keyed pulley, a non-keyed uh, alternator, so it relies on just the stiction of the friction to stay on there. Now you can stick it back on the same way. You have no way to hold it, unfortunately. So what we're gonna have to do is a way we can hold this dang thing. the center Allen. Man, I'm good for guessing today. Let's see, my branch. Okay, there we go. Got my strap on. Non-strap on, that's clutch. Or northern. Basically, just holding the center. You don't even have to hold this thing. Vice doing all the work for me. Giving her the old one-hander. And go, yeah! Like Houdini, drop that sucker back in there. Now the threading is on the alternator side. This is just a bracket 
So we know it goes on the back side because it has to hold itself friction wise somehow. Like gold dang magic, you know what I'm saying? And then we just reverse or reverse order this old girl. Oh, sad day. I forgot my cringe. Oh. Don't forget to flip the ratchet the right way. Oh. Okay. And as you can see. We bottomed out our sponsor. And then we gotta get this guy on here. That's good. Get our wires back on. crazy on that one. She a little bolt, you'll strip out the aluminum threads. Same thing with the alternator, you don't want to pull the stud out of there. And actually, before you do this, it's always a good idea to look at the condition of your of your lug. And it's in good shape, no corrosion, no nothing, just a little dusty. We are installed. We'll get our belts, belt, belts, belt loose. I'm trying to can uh, converge words. Okay, I'm gonna reach around you. Give you the old reach around. Now, be cautious on this part. Ah, I fell off the water pump. Dang, it, baby. Don't worry, freaking happen. So anyways, go ahead and get the wire off. Be careful here, you don't pinch your fenders. Just like that. And it kind of fell off there a little bit on the water pump. That's because the water pump doesn't sit in a groove of any kind. Just loosen it a tiny bit. Move it over. Okay, everything looks all snazzy. Get our voltage back on. Don't need that wire no more. Let's get our meter turned on. Start the truck up. Charging at the battery. 13.7. 
little bit of a voltage drop there. As long as they don't have any issues. Unfortunately, we're going to have to say that's good enough. Oh, check this out. Look what I did. I missed. Yeah, I missed. So, that's all the more reason. Double, triple, quadruple, check your work. You guys probably seen it. I did not. We'll get back in here. We'll loosen her up a little bit. Pop it over, one rib. Bam. No one wants to see that guy. Let's recheck our work. Alternator. Good. Water pump. Good. Or fan drive. Good. Water pump. Good. Crank. Good. We good. Yeah, real short and sweet. It's an alternator change, kind of a general how-to on a specifically a, a one-wire alternator. Um, yeah, that's all I really have to offer you today. If you have any questions, comment down below. As for right now, though, you are fixed-ish.